Well, good day, farmers. Welcome back to Farm Sim Saturday. So, we got a whole pile of work to do here today with this baler. I guess we'll just tap up to him. Uh, where are we here? Where are we? Too much stuff already. There we go. The old farm all with the old, uh, what was this? Massey Ferguson 1840 baler. Shooting out square bales. And then we got our uh, trailer back there that should pick all them up again. And take them in. So, we got a lot of rows of bale. Oh, a lot of rail rows of bales to go through here. But we could, uh... Could uh, windrow this, I guess, too, but I don't know. That would probably be shooting out bales like crazy, I would imagine. But uh, looks like we might end up having to get a windrower potentially, because this is probably going to take us a wee while if we just do it like this. But um, hey, that's farming. You can't get her done in one day, right? Uh -huh. You know what? Let's just get a windrower. Uh, we'll do a couple of rows like that, and then. Uh, Grab a wind rower. So, wind rowers. That would just uh, speed her up a little bit for us because we want to do a little more than just hopefully bailing today. Ooh, what kind? Um, it looks like a two and a one. That would be probably pretty good. Okay. So, got to get something to go pick that up. Probably just run down with this guy here. We'll just take our trailer back out here oh, and leave it out here. Oh, there's tree stump still there. Huh, seen that? Yeah, because I think if we just went, uh, well, if we could. Condense that from what it is there to half. Basically, that what's hopefully what the uh, this wind roar will do here. It'll combine two into one, so that should give us half of that. That should be better. Now, I've got this field down here too. I I I don't know whether we're going to really get into using this. I kind of like the one we're in there. I got to kind of straighten it up too a little bit, make it a little more better. Even this one, it had some issues, remember? Yeah, it was a little wonky down at that end. Anywho. Let's go grab the wind rower. This thing might even put three into one, maybe. Ah, I don't know. Two into one would probably be good. Let's head her back, give her a try here. We'll finish a couple of rows there with the little the way it is before we wind row it here. And, uh, you know, just to say we did. This should definitely be kicking out bales a lot faster. Come on, baby. Up we go. Yeah, should work good. Break the two into one. Perfect. Let's finish this uh, 
this row here anyway, so we'll do that and then we'll come back down. Alright. It's not really the right tractor for this being a row crop tractor like that. It should have, you know, the regular front end, but anyways, it's all good. Ooh. This actually might be too wide for this thing. These rows just looking at this now. I'm like, hmm, to try it here and see, but. One thing about those row crops, well, they sure turn nice and tight. And they can actually turn tighter, but I can't physically, you know, lock the one side up on the rears here to, you know, spin the other side around real fast. Doesn't work like that on these things, unfortunately. I'm looking at these rows. I don't know, it might be, uh... <coughs> Pardon me, a little too tight. Definitely these two wouldn't have gone together. The other ones might, but... Mm, we'll see. Let's see what we can do, I guess. Like a pretty rough ride for the guy up there too. Oh, lay smokes. Spine jarring. Okay, let's try this out. See if this is going to be wide enough. I don't really want to go wider because that's too wide then. These two look, whoa, look like they be all right, but. Yeah, maybe it'd be all right. Just an extra step, but you either do this and less bailing or you do don't do this and you do more driving with the bailer I mean so can't really do it but yeah it's all right Even with this, we're going to have a lot of driving. <laughs> <coughs> Pardon me, something's tickling my throat. Mm. Well, I might do a few rows here like this with you, and then I'll maybe pause and just get this finished up, because I think this is actually going to take a lot longer than I anticipated. And uh, you guys don't really want to probably sit through all of that, so... we probably got... Uh, ooh, 20 minutes anyways of just doing this, so I'll uh, get her all wind road up here and then uh, get ready to bail again. The bailing shouldn't be too bad. Should be spitting out bales pretty good now, I would think. Alright, so yeah, we'll pause a minute. I'll get this finished up for us here and uh, save you guys from having to do sit through all this, but uh, yeah, we'll be right on back. Alright, these last few roads here were done with that other machine, which makes it a little wider. It'll be too wide for this thing, so what I'm going to try to do is combine the last three here into the one. I'm trying to get this over a bit more here. And then we should be able to go back at her here with the bailing. We got her down a few more rows anyway, so that's good. 
I think if I can get these three to one, that'd be good. That'd be a real thick, thick row, that's for sure, but it's okay. And then these ones here will be all good still, too. Yeah, about 20 minutes or so, and it took that long to get this to where we are. So I, I didn't figure you guys would want to watch all that, so <clears throat> we'll get her done for you. And then uh, one more row here, one more pass, and we can get in onto the baler again. Should be good. Ooh, that turns around faster, doesn't it? There we go. Gotta watch that thing. All right, let's grab. Should be parking more stuff than where it should be there, but anyways. Okay. All right, let's see now how fast these things come firing out. Considerably faster, I would say. They don't uh, kind of fall off of this thing too nice, do they? They all seem to give that little spin. Some go one way, some go the other way. They're just totally random. Yeah, interesting. It'd be interesting to see how many bales we get out of here, too. Now, this is going to be a lot less than it would have been if we uh, just left the rows the way they were, but... Um, or will it be? No, it shouldn't be, really, should it? should be the same amount of bales that are coming out faster. Yeah, so that shouldn't adjust that at all, I wouldn't think. For some reason, I thought it would have. I don't think it will. Look at the one row compared to this row. There's a lot more bales laying in this row, that's for sure. isn't going super fast, but uh, I don't think uh, I don't think one of the other tractors would make it go any faster because this would be geared to how fast the machine uh, the baler is going to go, right? So, ah, it's alright. We're playing with a bit of vintage stuff, you know, and it's got to go kind of slow. That must be the tire going there, yeah. That's 
kind of neat. There's actually quite a bit more happening here than you can really see. We've got a fan going up there. There's a bunch of neat stuff going on up there, too. There's actually quite a... Oh, there's actually quite a bit of... Uh, I wish you could open the covers and see that. There's actually quite a bit of stuff going on in there. Most of it's all covered up, though you can't see it. Should be quite a load of, <coughs> pardon me, quite a load of bales by the time we get her all uh, loaded on the trailer there. I don't know how many that trailer's going to hold of these little guys, but uh, I don't think it's going to do the whole field anyways. Well, no, I don't think so. I wonder if these I could actually maybe pick these up manually myself too. I don't know if maybe they'll probably tell me, oh, it's too heavy. You know, give yourself a hernia. Still gonna take a while though, isn't it? Oh boy. Anyways. sure you didn't uh, lean over on these tires, eh? Oh man, no fenders or nothing. It's so dangerous. Yeah, you'd have to really be careful. A lot of times when I'm driving one of my old tractors, I find I lean on the fender, you know, looking around or something. I'm like, you sure couldn't do that here. You'd fall off and get dragged under the tire, probably. And into the baler. Oh man, what a mess that would be, eh? Wow. Not a good day. Or you get run over by the tire and the tractor and run over, well, you'd be run over by the the header, <laughs> maybe chewed up a little bit, and then maybe run over by the rear of the bale, or you'd definitely be dead by the time you got to that point. I don't think you'd survive that one. Anyways. Baylor though, it does work pretty nice. It's got a nice wide pickup on it too, right? Now those rows over there, the end end ones, there's four or five, maybe six rows of the end ones there. I don't know how much uh, straw that'll contain, but this should be pretty good. It's a 
wider machine we had out there. Hopefully this little area here we've got fixed now with that one little tree stump we found. They just do not like those tree stumps. These guys, they'll go right around that. I look for some real vintage balers and just isn't really a whole lot of stuff out there for that. Pretty good on gas too, it doesn't really hardly use any yet. halfway mark. <laughs> Seems like we've been bailing forever here, but that's okay. Bailing's important too, right? If you want to keep the bales, I don't I don't think we'll keep any. I don't know, I don't know if we're going to do animals this time around or not. I'm not too sure. I don't know that trailer how how high it'll stack bales should go three bales high for sure I would kind of hope it would go at least five pretty small bales maybe it'll go more than that I don't know, I don't know how high they stack them we shall find out soon so it won't take long to load these that's for sure that'll be the easy part a tiny little blob there. We'll grab him while we're there. Alright, this should... Uh, I don't know if this is the row that we just come out into three or not. I forget now. No, it's... A few more up yet, I think. Yeah. Okay. 
Probably should really be able to tell once we get to that one. It'll be really firing them out. I think we're... Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, where are those deer are? Maybe is that one there? Somewhere, somewhere around there anyways. big wind rower and come down like five or six rows together. <laughs> Just be spewing them out like crazy. where those deer are. Pretty sure it was that roll. I forget now. Anyways. Now let's get in here. We'll let him kind of tour along there. We'll take a break from that noise for a minute. We'll see uh, how many bales we've done so far. Uh, where are we here? Bales produced. 231. We did a couple of bales I guess last time. There's try this thing out. It's 231 bales so far. Holy smokes, who'd have thought, eh? That's a lot of bales. <clears throat> it's good, though. the next one, but the next one, I think. Yeah, I think so. Just because this only has one track, and over here has, like, two tracks kind of thing, so I think that's the big one there. the Giants guys need to kind of do something with the deer. They just kind of show up, like teleport to you almost in front of you and then they just run off. And you're not going to really see, or see deer that much, especially with all this noise in the tractor and stuff going here, right? So, I don't know. The deer are cool and everything, but they're just not, they're not exactly right. So we might be up into the 300s by the time we get all this finished bale in here. That's a lot of bales. Holy cow, small bales though, right? Definitely think I'll go with a bigger bale or uh, if we're going to do this again because it uh, definitely takes a lot longer. Didn't kind of expect it would take this long for us today, but we'll get her done here. These other rows, they won't take, well, should get a lot of bales out of them, but they shouldn't hopefully take too long. But it's probably a couple minutes per row here, I guess.
All right, the big row. Let's see here. I think they're coming in a little quicker now. A little quicker. Yeah, I'd say a few more per row here. Start the rows here with from the big machine. Yeah, definitely not as many as that last one, that's for sure. A lot wider row though, that's for sure. Man, this thing really spilled her nice and wide. done pretty good. two full rows left anyways and then we got these weird partial rows that we gotta try to clean up try to widen it out a little bit I guess like that. The deer just kind of spawn right in front of you and run away. Uh, I don't know if that's kind of good. It's kind of weird. They just spawn right behind me. Wide row again. Actually, a pretty clean wide row, though, isn't it? Perfect. There's one blob where it stopped down here, needed unloaded, but. So, how many bales do you guys think we're gonna have? Let me go in here and look. I think we're gonna be 329. Could be more than that, though. I don't know. <laughs> Wouldn't doubt it at all.
Yeah, we gotta really open this up a lot here. Might actually have to, uh, if we want to go as wide as what it is up there. Might actually have to take a few more trees out there. Potentially. Alright, the last little bit. Finally got her done. That's good. Yeah, it looks like we might have to take a couple more trees out there. Oh, crap. Missing some. Might have to take a couple more trees out. Oops. Oh, that was the wrong button. My bad. That's good. Auto hook. Alright. Looking good. That was a lot of bailing. How many did we do? I was thinking 429. That might be a little high. I'm still thinking it's in the threes somewhere. Oh, there's a tree stump there too. Gotta remember to get that guy. Okay, so we gotta unload these two out of here. Alright, how many did we get? through the bush here, I think. We got 415. It wasn't far off. You know, wasn't far off. Trouble is, we're not going to have a lot of room in this thing, so we might have to dump into this trailer here. And that didn't take much, did it? <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, man. Okay. So if we go 
here. take these ones out here, we should be good. I guess the single is still grind anyways, even though it gets full, but I think this should clear it up for us here. Okay, let's go put this guy away. It does make a really horrible noise, though, doesn't it, this thing? I don't really like it because of that, but anyways. up. And they just push the whole truck. Okay, we'll have to load that after that. Alright, now we all need something. Yeah, that's a little bit too big maybe. All these tractors we got is great. Ah, the case will work. Hook to that trailer out here and start picking up these bales. See if we can get them all on. I highly doubt that, but there's a lot of bales out there. All right, what were those keys again for this? Unload. It should be it should be still going, I think. Shift R control. Left shift R. Huh. Okay, I've got to figure this out now. Left shift R. Oh, we're not going to do that for every one of them, are we? No. No, it was working before. Left shift. R. No way, you gotta be kidding me, right? I don't wanna have to do this for every one of them. Eh, eh, eh. No, no, no. Something not right here. This worked before, fine. This debug mode. Control left shift F12. Control shift F12. Hmm. Now this worked before. Um, Hmm. 
because that's going to suck if I have to do what's going on here. Um, <laughs> I might have to go check my last week's video when we tried this thing because I am pretty sure I didn't have to do that. Uh, give me a sec. I'm going to go look. I'll be right on back. Okay, so... Control, okay, left, so shift, and R. This is the video. Bill mode disabled. So control, left, shift, and R. We enabled that. That should work now. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Because I know it, does. it picked up all these ones out of the baler, too. Because these tiny little bales would be just a nuisance to try to pick up, I think. Maybe that's the way this thing works, so hide them. Oh, yay. Okay, I'm happy with that. Oh, see, uh, that, oh, pick that didn't lock. Like, uh, I don't know. So that's enabled. Any, all. That doesn't really matter, all. Huh. Well, I don't know. Okay, so yes, this did work. I've got something not quite set right here. So let's just uh, left just I. Uh, we need to turn on that bail auto bail mode. That's what it is. Control, control left shift and R. There we go. Now it should work. Oh, now it's not working. Shift and R. Okay, why is it doing that? It didn't do that before. Our last video, it just started loading as soon as we drove past, and I don't know why it's doing that. Um, I didn't think we'd have to. That's that's not still not working. Uh, I don't know why it keeps doing that. It shouldn't latch on right after. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Just, I know it sounds kind of weird, but, um, where, I don't think that was under here. No, something is weird with this thing, and I don't know what. Um, so we own one of those. Okay, just for fun. I, I don't think that there's a problem with the trailer, but I, I don't know, because it didn't do that before. It, it I watched the, that video uh, from last week. And it loaded, loaded right away, and it didn't click off like that. So I don't know why it's doing it now. I'm just going to try rebuying that trailer and uh, see if that's a problem at all. So let's get rid of that other one. Okay. I, I don't think that's going to be the issue, but, uh, I mean, stranger things have happened, right? That was a pretty cool uh, little cool combine, eh? It worked good. More like a thresher machine, but it seemed to work pretty good. Okay, let's get down here and get this new trailer. And I don't know if that's going to help at all, but uh, I mean, it's worth a shot, right? If I stay in the road, it'll be worth a shot. See if, it ha if anything happens. And if not, oh boy, I don't know. Okay. 
Okay, let's just leave her just like that. We'll head her back up the hill here. I would say container type haul, um, material type haul, so it should do everything. We stopped, does anything change? No, okay. Loading filter full only. I'm not really sure what that's meaning, but... Uh, Let's just pull up next to these bales and see what happens. Might have to... Uh, I don't know. Let's just try these ones here. So start loading left shift R. Mm, still doing it. Wow, I don't really want to take all this time and have to stop at each one. That's crazy. And it didn't do that before. I gotta show you this video one second here. Hold on. So unless I'm missing something. So as soon as I do that, they all take off. Oh, that's weird. Okay, well we're gonna have to figure out another trailer because that's just not gonna work. Oh. Man, I didn't really want to do that, but uh, I guess. Maybe this one will work. Don't know if that's an auto load, universal auto load, okay. Don't know what the difference in the designs are, but so that one's not going to work. Oh, darn it. I think I bought the wrong one. Okay, so we'll scrap that one. Scrap that one. Uh, bail loaders. How is this one here? Auto load, yes. If it works for those size of bales, it might not. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know how I'm going to load all those bales. Um, barrel, pallets, hero pallets, doghouse pallet. Okay. Big bag pallet. See, I don't know which one I need here because it doesn't really tell me. Well, we'll try that again. Mm -hmm. Bet you this won't work either. Okay, that's quite frustrating. Because I'm sure that one worked before, as we've seen in that little short part of the video from last week. But it picked up the one. It didn't lock up the things right away, but it picked up the other two or whatever it was out of the baler, too. So I don't know. Equipment problems, eh? Equipment problems. Oh, boy. Something tells me this one isn't going to work either for what we want.
Yeah, see, this isn't right either. Hmm. Could just reconfigure that, I guess, but uh, I'm not going to really mess around with that. Let's just uh, try another one here and go to that one. That doesn't seem to say anything about auto load. Okay, well, I guess we'll scrap that one too. <laughs> oh, we're running out of choices here, I think. Uh... Oh, man. Talk about uh, not knowing what's going to work. I don't know what that one's for, but I'll uh, we'll try that too, I guess. trailer. I guess that just puts... Oh. See, I don't think this works for the auto load. No, this, this isn't going to work either. Because you have to be able to turn it on and off, I believe. Uh, oh, man. Uh, where are we here? No power screen. Well. Um, I don't know what else to do here now. It's not going to work. Maybe I bought the wrong one. I don't think so. But now this does. Uh, see, I don't even know what size those bales were. They're not. Uh, that's that's that big. I don't think. Um, 180 centimeters. I bet you that won't work either. Bale trailer, that's not going to work, I don't think, either. 180, so those would be those bigger squares. Oh, this is really confusing. So we've got two of these, two, though, but I'm pretty sure this is the one we already had. It's for pallets. Oh, man. <laughs> well, I might have to pause again and see if I can find another kind of trailer. I guess, uh, see what I can find. We'll be right back. Okay, we got this one. It's actually small square bell auto load. 120 to 140. So that should work. Now, is there only... Oh, there's provisions for another one. I just don't know. This isn't going to hold too many. It's, it's going to take forever. Oh, man. Let's see if we can hook up two together here. It's going to be a nightmare trying to hook these together, though. See what this is. Operating position. That looks a little better. I don't think we're going to get too many on here, though, but we might have to come down and grab a bunch more of these. <laughs> There's a lot of bales up there to pick up. Uh, so, operating position. That looks better to me. I guess we'll see what happens here. Hopefully, it auto loads. It's supposed to. It's supposed to. <laughs> That's all I can say it's supposed to. But I don't think this is going to hold a whole lot. Oh, I didn't think picking up some bales would have been so hard. But, uh, yeah, apparently it is. Yeah, 
and uh, I didn't really see any other trailers. This is the only one I could really come up with, so I'm like, okay. So it should automatically start doing these here. We'll go up to this other pile, I guess, first. Let's see if any of those things stack on here. That's working the way it should. Hopefully we can go up a few more rows yet, though. Bales look tiny compared to the size of the tractor here, anyways. 70, 35%, so it's going to stack actually pretty good. Oh, 49. I guess it's splitting the two in half, so we got to go. That one, and there. I think we might have missed one. There we go. Imagine having to load all these by hand, Not even with a machine. Oh man, we would be here for hours. All right, I guess we got full loads. Nice. Four, four high is pretty good for this little trailer, I guess, weight-wise, anyways. All right. Well, that wasn't too bad. We got, um, eh, might as well get the rest of them on, maybe. Might be over halfway there. Well, let's head down and sell these up. Two hundred bales. Well, yeah, that's probably half of them, anyways. A little, that would be a little less than half of them. Okay, something didn't work there. Everything gets sold here. Kind of 
acting weird, isn't it? Oh, half of them are at the back now. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right, that was kind of weird, but I think we got her. Well, I spent a lot more time today than I wanted to on these bales, because of the small bales, I guess. They uh, didn't work quite as well as I wanted them to, so... Ah, I don't know how much time we're going to take here today. I don't know if we're going to really have time for a crop, but I do want to fix this field today, at least anyways. Real big row here. I can't uh, get the two ones. I don't think it's too far away from the other one. I might get them all on here. I don't, know. I don't think so. No, I don't think so. We've got a few spaces left here. And that's it. <laughs> we are out. All right. Well, we'll head her back down and try to figure out this again. We only got a couple of few left there, of course, but that's okay. Just pick those up after and just leave them in the trailer, I think.
pretty neat little trailer. It's good for small operation. There's this medium-ish big, you know. Maybe went a little bit crazy on the size of the trailer, but that's okay. The size of the field, sorry, that's okay. That's what I meant to say. Kind of glad we got two trailers, though. We might have been able to do it. Three, well, three we still have to do one trip down, anyways, but that's all right. See how much all these bales were worth, too. Hopefully, it was worth some money, not like we really need any. Of course, we got all those wood chips, right? So that time, I don't know what was the problem for. Okay. Baby, that's quite a hill. Alright, that'll do. And, uh, I don't know, we've got a little bit of money sitting in these here, but let's just see how, uh, how much we made. So, sold bail 62,000. So, we've probably got about 65,000 in here, maybe roughly, for bales. That's not bad. parked here. We're going to grab this guy and hook it to... I didn't figure out our... Uh, this isn't the right one, I don't think. That's definitely not the right one. Uh, which other one was it? Uh, where the heck are we now? We should be in here. I think it was under plows. I wonder if it was that one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was that one. So let's run this guy back. You know, this one's so nice and big. Ah, you know what? We'll just keep this one.
And we're gonna run down to the store again and get this one now. <laughs> Sorry, more, more driving. Where's he going? Maybe we'll set him out in this field first here just to uh, make sure it works. Well, we got to go fix that other field, I guess. It doesn't really matter. I don't know if we're going to use that one or not, but it would look better if it was plowed up. Fastest the tractors, but probably because of the tracks, I think the tracks would probably slow the ground speed down quite a bit. At least when they come out with the tracks for the ATVs, it really, really slow down the ATV speed a lot, like a lot. I guess when you're driving with tracks on, you don't really need to be going fast. It's more for traction, right? Probably wrecking stuff too if you went too fast with them. Try him out in this field here, anyways. Get that cleaned up. Alright, I'm going to let him work at this for a minute. I'm going to take a quick little break and uh, we'll get back. Hopefully he's got her all done. We'll be right on back again. Alright, well, I guess he didn't do too bad. I eh, missed a couple little areas. Maybe we can just drive up here with this thing. Yeah, one's still. road's pretty wide. Awesome wide. Like, two and a half lanes wide. Or one plow wide. <laughs> Except those trees are a little close to the edge there, but that's okay. So, we got to get this field squared up better or something here. See what we can do here. And uh, we got to plow up the rest of it here. Kind of like to plow every time. And uh, it'd be nice to kind of get this squared up a bit too here. or not, I don't know, but doesn't doesn't look like it from well, no, it's that's messed up. <laughs> I'm not very good at getting things straight here, but let's try to go here and see what we can do. And it'll increase our yield a little bit too, but that's okay. Looks like it triangles down there, so I don't think I want to go too much more. Alright. Thank you. 
Probably not the very best tractor to be doing this, but I think it'll work. See how straight our line is. It might be off a little bit. I don't know. I'll take that. able to tell on the map for sure here. Uh, now, will that show me? Uh, yeah, we're a little short on this end still, but I think if I go any more, I'll uh, be into that road. going here, I guess. See uh, how well he tracks to the other side. He'll keep it straight. I probably couldn't. Uh, just before though, let's... Uh, we're gonna hit that tree. Yep. Let's just clean up this corner here. gonna plow that too but I think I better leave that alone I think that's asking for trouble let's just do a little overlap okay um, okay good now oh, that thing's pretty cool I like that thing oh what happened there bud guy. Uh, let's take those off. And uh, I don't know whether we're going to plant harvest up now today. We just took way too much time with that uh, straw. I do apologize for that. But eh, that's farming though, right? So, what are we going to plant? Let's just do the round robin until we get out here. Start slowing down to this. Oh, oops. All right, good with that. Oh, we forgot to get that little splurge there of it. That's okay. So I think if we're going to do hay again, we better get ourselves a little bit uh, better hay and equipment. That was uh, that was just way too long. I do apologize for how long that took. Uh, but anyways, we'll put up some oats in for next week. Uh, this guy is going to want to watch him, but for now we'll maybe... We'll maybe take our chips down here and get rid of them. Now, I wonder if we can hook on this trailer that's full of chips. So we're going to need it. Onto the back of this guy and load that onto the trailer, too. Hmm. Might work. <laughs> I 
might be interesting trying to get that back off again nicely. And this switch these trailers is a little bit wider. A little bit wider, but anyways. Uh, maybe we should get something to plant down here. Uh, let's get a little cedar of some sort. Probably put it. Oh, crap. That's not tremendously good, is it? Boy. Well, I guess I hit that corner a little too fast. It's a good thing those straps are good and strong. They held everything on nice. Too, it's all birch trees. Boat didn't make her. Because that's a lot of top heavy there. back too because uh, I need this trailer up there I guess <clears throat> unless we uh, yeah well we got the other trailer too that we bring everything down in. oh some bales didn't get in there fix that being a wagon. Who knows what's going to happen here. Yeah, figured that would happen. This thing should just keep shoving, though. Not too concerned about that. Oh, maybe it won't keep shoving. this guy out and uh, let's have a look at some where are we here some cedars oh, that's, that's such a big field though down there if we just use small stuff oh man it's gonna take forever I don't really have anything vintage either uh, this is all kind of well this is vintage but that would take forever I don't think we're gonna bother with a little field down there I don't think so anyways Oh no, don't feel that. Oh, dude. Really? Well, we got to dump that again, I guess. All right, we'll let him do that. Looks like these guys are working pretty good here. I just kind of want to see how this guy ends up. Looking pretty good. I think it'll work.
Could have did better to that stump out of there. That was a big problem. Right? Pretty much where that guy is now, so that, that's good. Seems to be working. Now, there isn't a whole lot more room that way, but there's a heck of a lot of room to the left here. But I think there's the gigantic hill there. If I remember right. Oh, is he going to get it all? Ooh, be awful close here. Perfect if he did. Ooh, ooh, well, not too bad. A little bit there, but if he could get over a little more, too, but I don't know. It's working, I guess. Oh, 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 oh. Why did he do that, I wonder? He wanted to stop the turn there. He glitched out. I wonder why. <clears throat> there might have been something there, and then there's a tree stump still there. I don't know. Yeah, there's a gigantic hill there that goes down, you know, the mountain there. So I kind of think we picked a pretty good area here. Yeah, big hill. And I don't think the farming on that would be too great. Alright, well, I guess that's really all we can get into today. This is oats for next week. We'll get that planted and uh, go from there. But anyways, it's good. He's planting and rolling this thing too. It's all in one kind of thing. And fertilizing. But anyways, that's it. Thanks again for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Looks like we got that field squared up pretty good. Looks a little better now. This is still a little messed up, but that road is kind of in the way. So, But, uh, yeah, you guys have a good week. Thanks again for watching, and we'll catch you next week.